morning from the beautiful city of Da Nang. Today we're going to be looking at all the sites of Da Nang with My Care Beach, which was bought in the, one of the most luxurious beaches in the world in 2005 by Forbes magazine. And in 2007, one of the, it was in the top 10 best beaches by the, uh, the Herald Sun, Australian <coughs> newspaper. And whatever, whatever's in between, there's loads to look around, there's more beaches and loads of sights. It's going to be a good day out. I'm, as usual, I'm in a Vietnamese neighbourhood, a really Vietnamese neighbourhood. I've seen no tourists on there or no Westerners whatsoever. And I'm going to show you around my apartment to finish off with. So it's going to be an action packed day. I'm really looking forward to this one. Da Nang looks great. To me, I, 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 I can liken it to Chiang Mai up in the north of Thailand. I said that the same about Kampo in Cambodia. It's a very, very cultural uh, city and it's beautiful, it really is. It's really traditional Vietnamese. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. And we'll get some food in between. I really love these old neighbourhoods. You get loads of food, bikes trying to knock you over. There's all your fresh meat. A lot of people have mentioned about the meat though, it's not refrigerated. What they do is they overcook it so the bacteria comes out. So yeah, it's really good. It knocks all the bacteria out of it. And the, the, the Vietnamese or the Asians have got a lot more stronger immune system than what those Westerners do. So it's not a problem. And I've been in nearly six months now. So yeah, my immune system is getting stronger by the day. First of all, I want to get this hair cut. It's getting a bit too long. You're going to cut my hair? <laughs> and this is the guy that's going to do it. I'm not going to go to your fancy place with all the tram lines that are all over Vietnam. This guy in the good old, old traditional hairdressers. Come on, thank you. Right. <laughs> Not exactly the way I wanted it, but he was really, really gentle. I don't think I've got a more gentle haircut than what he just gave me. What a lovely man. Uh, that's this is what a one dollar haircut looks like. 80p. For my haircut. He got a picture of a. Uh, he showed me a picture of Ronaldo and Mbappe. He knew I wanted it short because it was already short. So I was pointing to kick Kylian Mbappe, the French footballer. And uh, but I said a little bit longer on the top, but uh, I never quite translated through. But yeah, I'm, I'm alright with it. I've got no things about how I look. You know, what you see is what you get with me. I'm very honest and very straight down the line. And I've got no thoughts of, like I say, I, I don't care how I look, you know. Hence why I don't get no teeth and things like that. Well, I can't do that because all the gums have been knocked out when I got knocked over when I was a kid. I've said that many times. But yeah, uh, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. 80p. Old school haircut. I look like some little full metal jacket. <laughs> I think he might have been given uh, given haircuts out in the war. <laughs> but yeah, great. Right, let's get down to my care beach and see what's uh, in between on the way there. See if I can grab some food. Come on, thank you. Right. <laughs> Not exactly the way I wanted it, but he, he was really, really gentle. I don't think I've got a more gentle haircut than what he just gave me. What a lovely man. Uh, that's, this is what a $1 haircut looks like. 80p for my haircut. He got a picture of, uh, he showed me a picture of Ronaldo and Mbappe. He knew I wanted it short because it was already short. So I was pointing to kick Kylian Mbappe, the French footballer. And uh, but I said a little bit longer on the top, but uh, I never quite translated through. But yeah, I'm, I'm alright with it. 
I've got no things about how I look. You know, what you see is what you get with me. I'm very honest and very straight down the line. And I've got no thoughts of, like I say, I don't care how I look, you know. Hence why I don't get no teeth and things like that. Well, I can't do that because all the gums have been knocked out when I got knocked over when I was a kid. I've said that many times. But yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. ATP, old school haircut. I look like some little full metal jacket. <laughs> I think he might have been given uh, given haircuts out in the war. <laughs> but yeah, great. Right, let's get down to my K Beach and see what's uh, in between on the way there. See if I can grab some food. I'm hoping this is an old disused rail track. <laughs> I think it is because it comes out into the street. I walked past it yesterday and I've just asked permission if I can walk down it so I'm not just being an idiot. <laughs> yeah, my K Beach first become famous when uh, during the war, that's where the American soldiers used to go when they were on the time off. And like I say, Forbes magazine 2005, I know that was a few years ago, but we'll see what it's like today. I'm looking forward to today, really looking forward to it. And getting some food as well. Oh, it is still in use, there's carriage there. That's where I've just come out. They didn't tell me on the other side that there was a big fence there. <laughs> I just managed to squeeze through that little gap. But this is where I knew it was disused because I walked down there last night. He's a crazy Danan traffic. Hello, Zincho. <laughs> In every street you go down, there's someone selling something outside their houses. Whether it be mobile phones, SIM cards, haircuts. There's a sewing machine person. Sewing machine person. <laughs> the seamstress, I'm not sure what you call them. And this is nearly every street in Da Nang. Well, this is the Han, Han Bridge. The mountains look amazing. And there is Dragon Bridge. Have you never seen yesterday the last walk? There's the tail and the head, and it breathes out fire. And there was loads more in that last walk. If you've never seen it, check that one out. And this is the bridge where, when I was looking from that side, the lights on this one go up like a triangle. And when I say I like Da Nang to uh, Chiang Mai and Kampo, it's obviously a lot bigger than them three, uh, than them two. I think it's the third largest city in Vietnam. But it, I mean, it really gives me that cultural feel. I've got people walking up to me, like old people, young people, who spot and shake my hand and say hello. Uh, I've just had a guy at the other end of the bridge. Uh, he was maybe he's in his 60s. I just walked past him all, 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 all towards the bridge. He just came over and shook me on, said hello. It's lovely, it really is amazing. Oh, I wish everybody could be like that in the world. It would be a much better place, but it is so much appreciated. People are lovely here. As they were in Cambodia and, China and Thailand. Asian hospitality. And there's a big ferris wheel in the background that I showed you in the last vlog. That all lights up. And there's markets, there's all sorts in there. So yeah, check out that last vlog. Now where you do get a couple of high rises here, it's nothing like Ho Chi Minh City. Nothing like it. And I can't come in Hanoi. I'm getting a flight there tomorrow. Um, the reason I'm getting a flight is because it's 16 hours on the train. I was I knew I'd read 16 hours somewhere. I was thinking that was from Natrang to here. But it's not that that was 11 hours. 
uh, 16 hours, but it's in unsociable times. I'm gonna have to hang about. I'd have to hang about here from checking out till six, seven o'clock, and then I'd be getting in to um, Hanoi at a daft time. And there was no real stoppages in between that I could do, like I did from in the trunk to here. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fly it, and uh, I've got short on time. And it's just sensible. I do want to fly. It cost me twenty-six pounds for the flight, and that'll be in the next vlog. I've done all the transportation systems here. I've been on the bus, the sleeper bus, the train where you sit down, the train where you're on the sleeper train. So let's see what the flights are like in Vietnam. It's Air Asia, so I can't see there being any problems. They're usually a good company. The Flora Beach Hotel and Spa. The beach is about a mile and a half that way. <laughs> it was 3.2 mile from where my accommodation is. So yeah, I'm putting in the miles again today, but if there's anywhere that's not named correctly, it's like a mile and a half away from the beach. But if you want to buy a Porsche, there's a big Porsche garage there next door. Unfortunately, opposite it, a lot of rubble being somewhere being knocked down. Now the Han, River, the Han Bridge, what we just walked across, that separates that, uh, the two halves of the city. So yeah, it's like, it runs right through the middle. Uh, I think the other side was the city centre, I'm not too sure to be honest with you. Or well, this side could be the city centre, it's one or the other. But I've never been to this side of the bridge, so... Yeah, it's, well apart from on the night. Uh, I, I touched on it a little bit when I walked over the Dragon Bridge. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's one side or the other. <laughs> Just trying to find some food. Just trying to get hungry. And here we are, My K Beach. 2005 rated one of the best beaches in the world by Forbes magazine. And the water. Crystal clear blue water. It looks amazing. Sand feels awesome, it's just lovely and oh, all over my shoes and socks. <laughs> it's just nice and fine and oh, it is beautiful here. You can see the big statue over yon side there. I was going to try and stay here a bit longer and I get a bike and go outside of the city and check out what's going on there. I was just getting a little bit frustrated with the, how the perform, all the vlogs are performing in Vietnam when, when I leave main areas. So unfortunately I'm just going to have to leave that out and I'm time restricted. So that's why I booked the flight for tomorrow to Hanoi. Oh, I've just walked past the sign that says, because obviously this is your touristy area, it's going to be a lot more expensive. I walked past the sign that said one kilo of washing for 20,000, which it's only 65p. Well, I got mine done yesterday for 10,000 on the other side of the bridge, right near where I'm staying. So you're paying pretty much double here than what uh, you will anywhere else. It'll be the same with the food. I was con I'm, I'm getting meals. Um, like the uh, the heo kum ga heo kum with vegetables, it's like um, pork with uh, rice and vegetables, and I'm getting that for eighty pence a dollar back where I live. That's a meal. So yeah, it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Really, really cheap. I've always said this: once you go up the touristy areas, you're going to be paying a lot more, and probably so right. It, it, it's you're right near this this is on your doorstep like I say I'm about to walk over three miles to get here but I love staying in the Vietnamese I love staying in the traditional areas wherever I go whether it be Cambodia, Thailand 
people are a lot more happy you know it's, it's a lot, lot better atmosphere I mean like I say I'm walking down the street and everybody shakes my hand everybody says hello you get the odd person that you, you know doesn't like you <laughs> but yesterday I went to get a a, a cup of co a cacao a chocolate or chocolate and the lady refused to serve me so I just walked straight out uh, I don't know why but she just she wouldn't even entertain me whatsoever she just said no I, I asked for the, the cacao and she just said no she wouldn't even serve me her husband came over he said he said what do you want what do you want I said a cup of, a cup of cacao and he turned to his wife I presume it was his wife and he said to her what, what, what's the problem she said no 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 and so she just looked at me and shrugged his shoulders so yeah I'm, I'm, I would if, if he talked anyway I wouldn't have stayed because I, I won't entertain that at all not at all there's no need for people to be like that well, there's a couple of buildings just getting constructed still the apartments condos and whatever this is a stage the ocean lounge Obviously they'll have live music on later There'll be people playing volleyball I'm still here early It's an absolutely beautiful day These are all the little fishing boats that we seen when I was in uh, Pukok When I was looking down the beaches there Pukok Island Again, if you've never seen them vlogs Some beautiful beaches in Pukok I looked at staying in one of the places around here uh, for let me for a couple of days. But I thought, why? You know, I absolutely love it where I am in the traditional areas. So it just made no sense. I just wanted to show you a bit of variety. When I was in the Trang on that beachfront one, the Azure Goal, it was a nice hotel, but I just never enjoyed it because you walked out into the sea, seafront. Everything was expensive. I had to go walking well, tell only 10 15 minutes back off the seafront to get to where the traditional areas was and it was where I lost my phone was when I was near the touristy area where I just finished off a vlog so I must have just put it down I was absolutely shattered because uh, I'm looking on Google Maps and Google Translate all the time it's just one of them things one of them things it's made me more aware to be more careful because you put something down here within minutes it'll be gone and you'll never see it again I had that phone for three years so I was thinking it's about changing anyway but not in that sort of a way the red flags are up for some reason just because it's choppy waters the lifeguards are the big fishing trawler Guy out in his speedos, listening to some music. There's a lifeguard station. Now the, the water on the beach in the Trang looked very murky. Very murky. Well this is beautiful. Really nice and blue. Yeah, the lifeguard's on him. Blowing his whistle. Oh, it'd be because you have to stand between these ropes. That'd be the idea. The guy out with his metal detector. Very wise. People always lose things on the beach. If you think the beach is quiet, that's because it's still low season, still rainy season. And it uh, finishes at the end of this month. Uh, end of December. I think he's a westerner. Um, yeah, so I presume in January you'll see a totally different complexion of this beach. It'll be very busy. I just want to take this time. I normally do this at the end. But if you could please like, subscribe if you like the content. 
it helps me with the algorithm for YouTube and it helps me to push it to more people it really really does help immensely thank you and don't forget if you stick around to the end you'll see my apartment or my homestay in the traditional area of Danang there was somebody died in the street where I am staying only a couple of doors down actually and there's been they're having a, like a gathering they've been doing it for the last two days they put a tent up and they have uh, like white headbands on and they beat the drum and uh, it's just show respect so I think it's um, it's a very Catholic country I think um, Ta uh, Vietnam I see churches all over the place I think it's Catholic or Christian, I'm not too sure, I'm, I'm, I'm not up to date with my religions but yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice to see people showing their respects there was an old lady, she died of natural causes so I, I walk by there when I'm doing my apartment, uh, my homestay review so I'll stick around at the end to see that now this is Bai Bien Mai Thai Beach my K beach was about a mile that way and this beach line goes along all the way down I've read two conflicting stories one said 10 kilometers the other one said 10 miles uh, 20 miles big difference so you can read between the lines but yeah the beach line goes all the way down and it's all supposed to be beautiful absolutely amazing obviously I won't be walking that but I'll be kicking up for another mile and I'm heading inland I am getting very very hungry doing a bit of aerobics there oh it's a bit busier down this bay down this plot We've got here a little tea shop, caribou. See what prices you're paying. 12,000 cup of tea, espresso, 27. I'm just having a look, mate. I don't drink coffee. 35,000. If you want a coffee, soda, smoothie, come see this guy at the caribou. Sausage, french fries. wasn't that expensive really french fries 40,000 oh well 40,000 what's that uh, about £1.40 uh, £1.30 somewhere £1.35 and 40 somewhere around there right that's enough of the beach I'm heading inland I am getting hungry oh here's a pizza place as well and what I haven't seen here what I've seen a hell of a lot in the Chang was the Russian people and I only say that I'm not being derogatory because the, the ones that I spoke to were really nice but I'm surprised that we're not up here when it's a, a, lot, a lot nicer than what it is in the trunk there's a french fries 35 cheeseburger 80 how much was the pizza? I've never even seen pizza there the medium pizza 79 large 129 that's a margarita yeah, it's not overly expensive. It's about four or five pounds for a medium one to a large one. So you pizza on the beach for a fiver for a large. It's not too shabby. Time to go and find some food. There's a Starbucks as always. Highlands coffee. There's a toilet on the beach. Looks free as well. Is Ian from Nottinghamshire, subscriber? Knock me out. Wicked. Unbelievable. <laughs> Just yeah. notice, notice me while I'm doing the beach vlog. Well, you're on holiday then? Holiday for three months. Crabbing around, yeah. Oh, brilliant. It's great being up here. Brilliant. Yeah, it is a beautiful country. Are you staying up this area or on the other side of the river? I've been to Thailand for a week. I went to Pukwok for two weeks. 
and I've come here yesterday and I'm going to Oyan Fawi and I'm waiting my way back down to the Cambodia back to Thailand now. Oh brilliant, Cambodia was good, I love it, Cambodia. Yeah, Cambodia's nice. Off. Just turn that off. What an absolutely lovely guy. Thanks mate, nice one. It was really, really good to meet you. We've been talking for a good half an hour there. I don't know if I caught that when I was on camera. He's travelling for three months while it's over Christmas. He's come from Thailand through Cambodia, Kampot, um, Phnom Penh. And then uh, he's come on to Vietnam. He's travelled right up from Phukok, just as I did. And then he's going to do the same on the way back. I think he's going back to Bangkok. So he's like halfway through his journey now. Six weeks left. Brilliant. Lovely to meet subscribers. Please, if you ever see me in the street, even if I've got the camera hand like I have now, just stop me. Just stop me. And I can always edit it out if you don't want to be on camera. I'm always up to talking. I love meeting people. I really do. That was great. Right, I'm heading for some food. Some over excited tourists there. <laughs> There's one thing I will say about this side of the river. It is very, very quiet on the roads. It's not as hectic at all in any way. It's about a tenth of the traffic. If you look on this main road here, I mean, you seen earlier when I walked down, when I was walking from the, where I am on the other side of the river, the traditional side, where everything's just zoom, zoom, zoom. This side, I've just walked down the street there off the back street of the beach and there's no cars on it at all you, you never see that on the other side of the river ever every single road is busy there's always oh excuse me there's always bikes and cars flying about everywhere and you beep 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 like I said last time I was in Vietnam in 2016 when I left for about two weeks all I could hear was beeping in my, in my head still two weeks after I got back in the UK so yeah, it's, uh, it's full on with the beeps in Vietnam. Just went past a bakery. I've got a Mexican suada. I've got no idea what this is. Uh, no, it looks like a sweet, but it's not. She heated it up in the oven. And it was 11,000, so it's at 33, oh, 36, 30, uh, 38p, something like that. It is sweet. I thought with it being Mexican, I thought it might not have been, but yeah, it's just like a, it's like a sweet bun. Like a, a candy custard in the middle. That's yeah, nice, it's nice. I didn't know what to expect. Mexican suada. It's a hot muffin that's sweet with a custard custard sweet in the middle. I'm getting back down to near towards the river now, and you can already see prices coming down. When I was up near the front, I could see a haircut place for a hundred thousand. It's like three pounds thirty. I'm just watching the road. And then the, the washing, like I said before, was uh, 20,000 for a kilo, which is still cheap. It's 66p for a kilo. Uh, in Thailand, to put that in perspective, the cheapest place you'll find is, uh, is about 30,000, uh, 30, 30, 30 baht. And uh, so that's about 65p. So that's about the same. But most places you'll find are 50 baht. About a pound twenty-five. Uh, I'll a bit less than that. I've been away from Thailand for a while. Um, and then I got just just, just behind me. I've seen a hair, hairdresser first for fifty thousand. Now, if you remember, I paid twenty-five thousand because I'm on the other side of the river. But as you get further away from the beach, you can definitely see prices coming down. Well, on the the laundry there was twelve thousand. Uh, for a kilo what i've just seen so yeah you've gone from 20 to 12 and on the other side of the river what i paid 10,000. so yeah that, that, that's just a little show you how, the, how much the prices change the further you get away from the beach when you're coming on older you don't mind you've got money to burn 
But if you're not, then it's a good identicator or indicator, should I say, into what you'll be paying on different places. Now here's Dragon Bridge on the daytime, so if you watch the last vlog, you'll have seen that that's the, that's the head that blows up the fire and all the tentacles up on the side, do you call them tentacles? They spray out water like water sprays. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what it looks like on the daytime. Really impressive, really impressive, I really enjoyed that. I'm just heading off towards the port. I've never been down here when it's light, so I've never seen what it's really like. But we'll check it out now. And then I'll head off back towards my accommodation and show you that. I need to get all this uploaded because I've got an early start tomorrow. I've got a 9 a.m. flight and I want to walk to the train station, which is only about two miles. Some dance classes underneath the bridge. That guy's showing them what to do. The dolphin painting on the side. The cafe on the other side. So we're having a little bit of karaoke there. Very nice down here. Got all the hearts on the on the lampposts. There's Da Nang Food Centre. And if you can just see in the background, over the other side, that's the bridge that I walked over earlier. About five or six miles ago. <laughs> yep, I've been putting the steps in. This is a marina, not a port. Hello, Sin Chao. Yeah, it's a marina, not a port. What's that, a big dragonfish? The Nang Vietnam. That might just be a big dragon, I don't know. Dragon head. Just got a tail like a fish. A little souvenir shop. All you tat. And I'll be honest, the marina there's not a whole lot. <laughs> it's got one, two, three boats in, and then that big bad boy there. Well, I don't think that moves. That uh, there doesn't know it's a, it's a restaurant. The Joy Paradise Coffee Restaurant. Big guy, very big. There's our towering saying There's the bridge that we walked over earlier, and there is the Dragon Bridge. Oh, there's another boat. I think that looks like the cops. The police. And that's where I'm heading. Back to my accommodation to show you. Hopefully, maybe see if I can find some food on the way. Oh, there's loads of... You must be able to buy key rings. Locks. To put all the way down the harbour. There's thousands and thousands of them. And you write a little message. I think it's supposed to bring good luck or something. If that's what you believe in, then lock away. I wouldn't knock, knock anyone's hopes and dreams. If that's all they think they're going to get it, happy days. But you'll know this shop here, they'll be selling them and they'll be making an absolute killing. <laughs> There's the head up course. If you see on the front, that'd be like the flamethrower when it breathes out the flame. It's at nine o'clock every weekend. I explained that yesterday. Oh, the last one, sorry. And you've got all the lights around the neck. They're all light up. And that, the lights are all the way down the bridge. As you've seen, if you've seen the last one. Very impressive. Only in Da Nang. Oh, I'm back. Nearly. I'm just going to go past this religious ceremony and show you, show you what's going on. See how many miles I've walked first. 8.92 miles. I've put the graft in again today. But it's been worth it. It's been really worth it. 
I'll just walk through here. There's the drums at the bang. And a gong. And this is my accommodation. F stay. Well there does seem to be a security issues around uh, Da Nang where I've been around this area. If you look you've got the razor wire, all the spikes on top of all the fences. And when you're coming into man, you've got a big massive lock on the other side. So I'll get this unlocked and I'll get inside. And that's where I've just come in on the big lock on the inside. And it's like a sort of communal area here. With the TV, that's where you leave your shoes. There's only a few rooms. I think there's like four rooms on two floors. Like so, two, two on each floor. There's another little seating area. There's a guitar over there as well. Don't know if that's communal. <laughs> it's been there since I've been here. I'm in room number 201. I'll unlock it, but I'll just show you upstairs. There's a little kitchen area you can use. Now that funeral I just walked past, they've been having that work for two days. Uh, it's really good to see, showing the respects to the old lady died of old age. So you've got an iron, kettle, a little grill there, some pots, all your plates, cups, bowls, cutlery. Uh, yeah, soap and everything. So yeah, you've got a nice little communal area there. I forgot to show you on the first floor, there's a washing machine as well, which I used this morning just to do some underwear. And that's drying on the balcony at the moment. I'll show you inside my room. Oh, that aircon's nice. I only had it on like 28, so it's not killing the electric while I'm out. Got these little fancy switches. Shower's good, it's not overly hot, but it's like a touch over warm, so you get a good shower. You've got hooks, sink, phone gun's good. The uh, toilet, you've got a bin there. The only bad thing is that that's the only bin in the apartment. So it's a bit of an issue when you're going in and out, you could just do with another little bin there. So you don't have to go in and out the bathroom. Two bedsides. Which is really good. There's a hairdryer down there which I clearly don't need. <laughs> Especially not after today when I got my uh, full metal jacket haircut. My barber pyjamas, my list of ideas wherever I go. As ready in Cath as always. And here you've got a patio area, fridge down there. The aircon is up top, like I say. Here you've got four hangers. Plenty of place to put your bag and your your, uh, your clothes and whatever. There's a little seating area that I've been using for for uploading and using my laptop. And out on the balcony, it's not big, but it's all you need. Just to sit out and have a cup of cup of ginger tea in the morning and on a night. So I'll be having it in a minute. I've just done some socks and everything there, just hanging on the side. They'll be dry now. So yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. And it's in a right, I say, it's in a really, really nice Vietnamese area. Uh, I showed you on the last vlog, I showed you the uh, cafe around the corner where you get rice, uh, pork steak, and vegetables for 80, 80 pence. 80 pence for a meal. That's like a dollar for a meal. So it's, it's really cheap around here, really cheap. And 10,000 for your, for your laundry. It's, it's it's at least half if not more for food than if you go into the beach area but then you've got a three mile walk so it's, it's whatever takes your fancy it's whatever how much what how much budget you're on the bed was really good i slept very well so yeah i've got no complaints and this place was 12 pound a night 12 pound a night so it's like 700 and uh, 376 000, something like that Right, I just want to say a big thank you to, I've been looking up from my old phone, uh, from me, um, from my iCloud, 
from the other phone about the people who support sponsored the channel. Terry and Liz, thank you so much, Terry and Liz McEwen. Darren and Karen Hornsby, you absolute stars, always there to sponsor the channel. Uh, my cousin June, thank you, June, watching every vlog, always comments, absolutely brilliant. I can't see I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> Andy the Manx man, thank you, Andy, much appreciated, mate. Casper from Halifax, great Casper. Nice to be a year on the way to Thailand, not too long now. And the County Israel, thank you very much. And again, super thanks to Keel and Robert Klaus. All great sponsors of the channel. Everybody who watches the channel, everybody who's subscribed, you're absolute stars. Thank you all so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day.